It's official, El Nino is back, and at record levels not seen since 1997. But don't worry, as humans, we're working hard every day to make sure that this kind of dramatic weather shift isn't just a one-time deal. El Nino is what happens when a specific section of the Pacific Ocean warms up higher than usual. Even though El Nino is a naturally occurring phenomenon, it's sure gotten a lot of help from us over the past couple hundred years. Global warming caused by man-made greenhouse gases has increased both the frequency and severity of El Nino. Researchers recently posted an article in the science journal Nature predicting that El Nino occurrences will likely double in the coming decades. So far this winter, we've seen torrential rainstorms in drought-stricken California, leading to flash floods, mudslides, and horrible conversations about how people, like, actually kind of prefer it when it's raining. And El Nino isn't the only human-caused natural event trying to make us extinct. Fracking, a process where we shoot high-pressured water into the ground in order to push up valuable gas because why the hell not, has actually led to widespread earthquakes throughout the Midwest. Just last week, Oklahoma fell back-to-back 5.0 earthquakes. In fact, 2015 saw over 900 quakes of a 3.0 magnitude or higher. Earthquakes brought to you by either fracking or God's wrath. Meanwhile, back in California, a state of emergency was just announced after a methane leak caused widespread headaches, nausea, vomiting, and breathing trouble. The leak, just 30 minutes from downtown Los Angeles, was caused by a faulty injection well pipe used in a facility owned by SoCal Gas, a company that seems to care as much about the environment as they do about spelling my name correctly on my bills. Stop calling me Bevan Field, you're ruining my credit. The recent Paris climate talks did bring international agreement that we need to limit human-caused global warming, with nations actually taking collective responsibility for the problem. Almost like a frat house, all recognizing that they destroyed the house's septic tank together. Still, quickly industrializing nations like India can't agree to not use fossil fuels unless they're paid by more developed nations, which are trying to switch to more green energy sources. And in the U.S., the vast majority of presidential candidates don't think that climate change is either real or an urgent problem, which is troubling since 97% of climate scientists agree that it's not only real, it's caused by us. So if we can't come up with a concrete plan that we can all agree to, we're all going to be in waist-high water on a permanent spring break. That actually sounds all right. Hey, thanks for watching The Daily Desk. If you like what you saw, click to subscribe, comment below, share the link with a friend or an enemy. I don't care.